I, I'm Edward yes. Starcraft, and here we are at the Yoy Gaming Tournament uh, here in Seattle, Washington. We're watching the second game in a best out of three in the semifinals of this $1,000 tournament. I'm here with MRZ, and this is the map Metalopolis. Spawning at the top hand position, we have the blue Protoss player whose name is Failboat. And he is. Yeah, give a, yeah, give a cheer for Failboat! Doesn't matter that he got hit by the iceberg and sank, but that's okay. We'll hey. see how well he does this time. Oh, we can't zoom into that sign. You, oh, have, you, to zoom, you have to zoom with your feet. Failboat! Or with your arms. With uh, their arms. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Careful uh, okay. there! Yep, Careful. okay. Careful. We'll, we'll show the sign later. And at the bottom hand position, we have a Terran player, <laughs> one of the best Terran players in North America. Uh, he is a fanatic MSI, Kawhi Rice. Oh, it looks like Kawhi Rice, the, the, uh, the person who the fans are not cheering for so far. Uh, um, huh. By the way, I want to make a comment on that side. It said failboat win. That's like a wrong statement. <laughs> failboat win. <laughs> like, the words are just opposite. Just like, my brain will explode if I think about it anymore. Yeah. But, but my brain isn't that strong anyways. Okay, like, so, so we have the, the sign being held by proxy. Um, might even have to. Failboat win, yeah, and then on the back side... It says pizza. Oh yeah, it's just What's pizza. up? Pizza. <laughs> okay. You got trolled, bro. <laughs> Don't listen okay. to them. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, so going back right into this game, Fnatic Kawhi Rice is getting that early second gas, but he pulls off uh, from that gas. We've seen him do this once before, and uh, you know, you have to wonder, what, what is he gonna do here? You know, we've seen him done do that one Rax fast expand commonly. It looks like he gets uh, the fast concussive shell with this build, if I'm correct. Come on, come on, Kawhi Rice, prove me right. I know you want to get that concussive shell research. And there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. So yes. this is a gas, uh, I, I guess the gas full, not gas less. Uh, gas full, gas full of fast expand here from Kawaii Rise Failboat going for two early gases. So I'm curious to see what Failboat is going to do with this extra gas as well. You know, so far in these games, I have not seen a single Protoss do a three gate fast expand. And I think that is just the most solid you can play, the most safe. You can put a bit of pressure on your opponent if he fast expands, and you have enough units to defend any kind of timing push. So I really want to see that out of Failboat right now. Uh, you know, perhaps that'll be the uh, perhaps that'll be the single impetus to allow him to avoid the iceberg this time, but uh, you know, you gotta wonder, it looks like he's getting a Robo, so okay, he's gonna get that fast observer. That's gonna be fairly nice for him in terms of scouting, but Kawhi Rice once again expanding. Yeah, a two-gate Robo build is one of the most solid builds, uh, most safe builds in Protoss versus Terran. But the thing is, when you're against a player like Kawaii Rice, you can't use solid builds. You have to use risky builds um, in order to get that edge on Kawaii Rice. Because if you play it safe, uh, I mean... I, you're gonna uh, lose. <laughs> yes. I, I, I don't well, think Kawaii Rice isn't gonna be like, you know what, I'll bench you rush today, you know? You know, you know what, I, I think I'll proxy 2x. Actually, you know, I was listening to uh, Liquid Tyler, if you were familiar with that name, he was talking about early pushes and cheese builds, and he actually said that he's not concerned when people do any kind of one base build, because it's very limited. The kinds of cheeses he can do are very limited because of your economy, but, you know, if you just play solidly to the mid game and then do some crazy, crazy all in off two base, you know, that can be really, really offsetting. And I think that's what these players should look for instead of their traditional kind of one base cheese. They should really look for some very strong all in on two bases with high economy. And, uh, you know, and that would really throw Kawhi Rice off, I think, because, I mean, come on, seriously, Kawhi Rice has played so many games, he's going to be familiar with all these kinds of one-base cheeses. Yeah, I mean, if you watch, like, the GSL in the first season, they were all, like, one-base all-ins against yeah. one-base all-ins, and now that everyone's learned how to defend against one-base all-ins, now we see two-base all-ins or something like that, you know. Yeah, just add an from. expansion on every time, and yeah. eventually you got five-base all-ins, and that's what you call a normal <laughs> game. Oh, uh, yeah. So now Kawhi Rice... <laughs> Uh, you know, I saw he moved out some units, but it looks like he didn't actually use those to pressure his opponent. Now, both players getting their expansions up uh, about the same time. Kawhi Rice a little bit earlier than, uh, than Failboat, but that's not a huge deal. Protoss can afford to get an expansion slightly later uh, than a Terran opponent. Now, it looks like a Failboat Double going to... Double four! 
Yeah, you know, I, I really think against Kawaii Grice's uh, playstyle, getting a double forge is going to be uh, very beneficial. And, uh, you know, I, I actually, <laughs> like, I was talking to Failboat earlier, and I was thinking, you know, I think against Kawaii Rice's playstyle, a double forge uh, will work very well. Because what that allows you to do is you can get a lot of attack upgrades and a lot of armor upgrades for your units really, really quickly. And, you know, Terran units, like the Marine, they do very little damage, but very, very quickly. So that still uh, amounts to a right, lot of cut uh, down damage. a lot of damage mm -hmm. from the Marines. So once you increase your armor, that means that little damage becomes even smaller. And, you know, it's still a significant portion. So it does actually reduce it uh, by a lot. So I think, uh, especially since Kawaii Rice tends to go Marauder heavy, uh, then it will work very well. But uh, Kawaii Rice this time instead going uh, mostly Marines. Uh, funnily enough, now getting uh, two tech labs. I'm curious if that's for Marauders or for uh, you know just double research stim and combat shields at the same time. Kawhi Rice going for a very aggressive third base. You know it's it's very yeah. uncommon to see a Terran player doing this, but uh, yeah, I, I think, think he I think he recognizes the fast expand build that uh, a failboat is doing, and so he's going to say, okay, well if you want to play a macro game or some semblance of a macro game, I'm just going to expand way earlier than you and try to bowl you over with a ton of units because there's no way he's going to catch up any upgrades with that Chrono Boost research there. And we see a very nice Twilight Council timing. That is what I was worried for for Failbo is how good is his Twilight Council timing because he cannot upgrade beyond 1-1 one, one, uh, if you don't have that Twilight Council down in time. But it looks like he has it just nicely so that he will be able to continue on that upgrade path. But meanwhile, on Kawhi Rice's side, getting that third base up is going to allow him to macro a lot of units, and it's going to allow him to macro a lot of gas-heavy tech units, because it's really on six geysers that you can start spending a lot of uh, gas resources on those kind of tech-heavy compositions there. And so Kawhi Rice is going to probably try to use that extra base, the extra economy from that base, to, to fight back the disadvantage he has in the upgrades here. Yeah, so, you know, the interesting thing over here that I want to note is that Kawhi Rice is getting his third really early. And actually, with the double forge build uh, that I see, let's say, uh, Axe Lab do, um, you know, we, we see actually usually a really early third base, uh, about eight minutes into the game or so. And, you know, if you take a look at the engagements that we've had so far, I mean, Failboat could have taken a third base without too much yeah. conflict. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, Failboat not actually producing additional harvesters again, and you yeah, see 36 to 49 man. harvesters. Yeah. That has been a downfall of every single player we've seen play against Kawhi right so far. They just, their mechanics need to be improved to the point where they can really boost their economy to where it needs to be. And that is just so important. I cannot emphasize getting behind against a Terran player on worker count is not where you want to be. Exactly. And he here's the thing. Take a look at the um, supply count difference between the two players. Kawhi Rice at 116, Failboat at 83. And if we take a look at units lost, no one's really lost any substantial units. So basically, both players have been untouched. And Failboat is already right. way, way behind in behind. both uh, income. You can see Kawaii Rice is leading by about 400 minerals per second. And in army size, uh, you can see that Kawaii Rice leading in basically every single aspect of the game already, with Failboat already not even doing anything. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be really uncomfortable for Failboat. The one thing going for Failboat is the 2-2 upgrade is about to finish and charge is done. So I would say this is his timing to push. He really needs to make something happen right now. When you're behind in economy, you need to go for a timing push fairly quick before that economy gets out of hand. And that is exactly what this situation is. But I think Kawhi Rice is too good of a player to let that happen. It looks like he's moving around the map, just taking some map control. And that is very smart by Kawhi Rice. You know, I we haven't really been watching uh, a Failboat boat's observer usage but i really would like to see i'm very active with that spotting and it looks like uh you know medivac's joining in the forces this is they're gonna start to allow Kawhi rice to drop a lot you know form that a team once again that we saw before in zonlog caverns and it looks like the medivac will also provide sight to the high ground and he's gonna have two sacrificial or one sacrificial stalker and a pylon and uh now uh, uh fail boat is in the red supply <laughs> and it looks like uh, a last few remaining wisps of glory for Failboat's fans. Uh, <laughs> uh, here comes the encounter. The charge lots up against the Marines, and they're going to do a lot of damage. Oh, fire very nice force field. It turns I, into very bad force fields. I don't know. Not the best force fields over there. Yep. No garden shield for Failboat. He lost a lot of his zealots without doing much damage. If you take a look at units lost, still about even. Uh, but, you know, Failboat... 
Uh, I, I guess he can regenerate a bit faster than uh, Kawhi Rice, since Kawhi Rice does not have uh, too many medevacs out and running. Uh, now, Failbo transitioning into Colossus, and this could be dangerous, but you know, Failbo needs a third base yeah. up and running because now that Definitely. Kawhi Rice has a third, uh, this is going to be very tough for him. Look at the difference in income and harvesters and an army and worker supply. Yeah, and when you get an econo economic advantage up against your opponent, it just starts snowballing. You see another expansion going down even before. Uh, Failbo has a third, so Kawhi Rice is very quickly going to be up on four base. Here comes a drop at the top right at the main of uh, Failboat's base, and the forges are exposed, and that one is the exact one that is not upgrading. Kawhi Rice gets booed <laughs> for that, but it looks like he's going to eventually get to it. He's going to eventually kill that forge upgrading, and no, oh, he gives up. Oh, no, he gets it, and loads up into the medevacs that might be sniped. Oh, no. Zealots. Uh, and here comes a front push again. Here's the exact multitask. See you! Expansion. And then Kawhi Rice just runs away. Now that is not the A team, ladies and gentlemen. That is a B, C, D, E, F, G, and H team there. A lot of units. And that there's the uh, there's the two drop ships ready to drop again. And it's this two-prong to harass that's going to ultimately kill Failboat. And Failboat looks like he's deciding to move out. But uh, at this point, Edward, I don't think there's much he can do to come back. Yeah, army supply for fail, but a lot way behind. He does have better upgrades than his opponent, uh, Kawhi Rice, but only by one tier, so that's not that uh, much good. And now here comes in the drop again. This is like the spec off scenes. They're like, you know, we, we gotta go in and you know snipe off some of the tech buildings for our opponent, you know, just like in those FPS games, but now here it looks like the final encounter between the two players, Colossi out of position, no force fields, no garden shield, oh, and those block are off the zealots. Oh, the stalkers are walking, not a tech moving, yeah. a lot of units not doing anything, yeah. and it looks like Kawhi Rice will clean up and everything of Failboat, let's go check out how that drop is doing at the top right, it looks like this army will be cleaned up by Kawhi Rice, but how is that drop there? It looks like they have pulled back and uh, uh he has not rebuilt his base and it's being revealed oh a good game fail boat went deeper into the ocean he wasn't <laughs> able to recover